was doing some television work before I even got into radio. So um, even insofar as working in the electronic media, I was more comfortable and, and more used to being there with someone and referring to someone and talking with someone. Then when I started doing radio, you're in a studio all by yourself mm -hmm. and you're chained to this, you know, very position right here with, uh, you know, things on your head and, and so, I mean, it's a very stationary kind of a role and for the most part, unless sometimes I have a producer in here who helps me out and stuff, but otherwise, I'm by myself, essentially. Mm -hmm. I hesitate to use the, the term power, but it is a very powerful thing. Um, I enjoy I enjoy the ears I have, you know, the number of people who actually hear what I say. It's gratifying to know that people are listening to me. I, I have a voice. I have a very powerful voice. Red Rider right now with light in the tunnel and power from Neruda on Toronto's best rock. I think I thrive on this kind of maniacal circumstance. You have a constant deadline in here, like right from, okay, right now I've got three and a minutes, 53 seconds left in this song. I've got to have all my commercials lined up. I've got to know what I'm going to say. I have to know what I'm throwing to on the other side of the commercials. I have to know the songs I'm going to play. Plus, I have to get phone calls. I have to get votes for my top 10 at 10. I'm doing a sports rundown. Well, I don't know anything about sports. and I'm doing it in 3 minutes and 24 seconds. See, there's this myth, right? And it's all you guys who've watched WKRP for far too long <laughs> who think I'm in here doing this kind of thing. Oh, yeah, this is great. When, in fact, I am. No. Oh, I wish I could. <laughs> That's great. Shirley, you are too good. I, I guess we have been that. watching WKRP, WKRP yeah, too yeah, long. Really. Far That's too so long. real. But don't we have two disc jockeys on that whole yeah. station. Know. But yeah. everyone works with a Johnny Fever. Oh, honestly. Have those and a herb Charlie. When you cannot formulate words. Is yes. that awful yes. that happens? No, Do you I have no, no, I, my teeth? When I get nervous, my lip sticks in my teeth and I can't. <laughs> like, yeah, your lips turn to Velcro. Uh -huh. And sometimes you've just got a sock in your mouth, seemingly, and no matter what you say or what you want to talk about, it just comes out garbled or mumbled or you can't mm -hmm. seem to get it out. Absolutely. How about when you have a lapse? You're talking and you forget what you're talking <laughs> about in midstream. Yeah. You know what? And I admit like, it. Oh, uh, you know what? I just, I've, I've left the room for a minute, so. But I work with two other guys. So unlike you, who has to save her own hide, I don't. If I all of a sudden shut up, you can bet someone's diving right in there right to fill in. the space. Sure, and that's what's that great about a part. I mean, that's a partnership. You know, Bob across from me, Robbie to the right, and Henny in the next room having just wrapped up his news. So between the four of us, mm -hmm. there's never space for, you know, dead air. And right? I get to edit. You see, my show is taped live, so we tape it every day at 2 o'clock. But we, if it's really bad, we can... And also when I do interviews, they're pre-taped. <laughs> and as I tell everybody who comes into the studio, don't worry, I'll edit this so I sound good. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's how but I don't sound you also so good. find that as soon as that mic goes on, no matter what mood you're in or what you've just come from during the day, seemingly this this cone of okay, radio, action, do it yeah. kicks mm -hmm. in. Adrenaline. The adrenaline. The adrenaline, the buzz, whatever you want to call it, that 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 spirit of radio. Well, because the reality is we all have lives that aren't always happy and our responsibility is to make everybody else happy so I can't come to work and talk about the fact that uh, I had a bad night the night before or someone is sick in my family or I have some concerns about world peace I, that's not relevant to the show it's not your people job. are getting up at six o'clock in the morning and want to hear me you know uh, uh, yeah. uh, defend myself in front of the guys they want to hear me defend my character which is really that's my job on there is mm -hmm. to be the foil for the guys and that's what Sam says is very true also holding your own against the guys is something that surely does and doesn't do. She's got her own show, and she's one of the few women on radio that does yeah. do that. And I don't particularly want to wave the flag right now, but that's true. Uh, it yeah. is true. It's a rarity. Yeah. Yeah. It is but a rarity, and and uh, Sam and I have to hold our own with the guys. And mm -hmm. you can't come off just being the little laughing bimbo that was the traditional radio Side. role for Not so anymore. long. Not, yeah. anymore. Not anymore. Thank well, goodness. It'll be nice to see women move into the prime time shows, though, as host. And it's coming. A morning woman. This is yeah, coming. A morning woman. I'm glad to hear that. We've got the mm -hmm. tragically hip for you, Shirley. And my video. Uh, yeah. Yeah, is my that your girlfriend. Favorite? Well, my girlfriend Joa, who's an artist, did the art direction for this video, and it ended up winning Much Music's Best Video last year. She's so fabulous. She actually photocopied fish. She was standing in a, in a, <laughs> in a production office at Revolver, photocopying these fish, and she did her wall of fish, and it surrounds 
Jones um, land, sea, and air decay because the video is about decay. So she did a wall of fish and a wall of birds and a wall of daisies, and they represent the decay of land, sea, and air. Well, this is great. So that's Joa. Joa, right, maybe Joa's watching. Joa, hi. Hi, Joa. <laughs> this one's for you too.